Hey guys, Coach Harmony from CrossFit Ampersand here to talk to you guys about hand care and calluses. Calluses are the thick uh, bumps of skin that you get you typically on the palms of your hands some people get them right here on the inside of their knuckles from doing lots of barbell work and rig work such as pull-ups or toes to bar that kind of stuff um, typically once your calluses get really really big you're more at risk for having um, them tear so if you ever see people with huge tears on their hands it's because they haven't taken care of their calluses so i'm going to show you today what i do to take care of mine to make sure that they um, stay nice and clean and i don't get rips and tears on my hands first a few of the tools that i like to use the most important ones for me are these um, these are both callus shavers they're really a simple tool you can find them in any manicure slash pedicure area of a drugstore so walmart target um, and they typically run five to ten dollars. They come with these itty bitty little um, razor blades, they're called corn plane blades, and they just sit in these shavers with a very, very tiny little, you can see the razor blade right there, a very tiny little gap so that you can just pull off an itty bitty teeny piece of skin. Um, the other tool that I use is after I've done this, I'll typically take a shower and use a pumice stone to kind of smooth out any rough edges. Um, and then finally, lotions and um, creams. I would highly recommend if you ever do tear your hands to check out Wad Repair Lotion. It's a great mix of um, shea butter, cocoa butter, beeswax, coconut oil, and can really help speed up the repair of a tear. Um, but today is all about preventing tears. So what I typically do is after a shower, you know, before I go to bed, I'll put some sort of thick cream on that part of my hand just so that I can help keep everything smooth and um, not super rough. So um, I don't know about you ladies, but I don't want to have rough manly hands, you know, lumberjack hands. I want to have soft lady hands, but still be able to work out like a badass. So let's get started and just kind of talk about how this works. I prefer this one to the other one because it has a little bit of grip, but callus shaving doesn't have to be scary. Most people are afraid of cutting themselves, but because of this itty bitty tiny little area that they have that actually pulls, you know, that's going to cut, it's really hard to do. So for Shaving your calluses, you're really just going to apply a little bit of downward pressure as you pull across. If you're scared when you're starting off, do less pressure so that you grab less skin. How far you press down is going to kind of depend um, or change how much skin you're able to grab. So I'll show you really simply. If I press down, you can see it grabs a tiny bit of skin. There's an itty bitty little skin flake. I'm going to make a little pile so I can throw it away because that's nasty. And I just repeat that process until I have taken away some of the callus on each of my calluses. I typically don't get calluses on my index finger, just on these three. And when I'm shaving them, I'm going to go from multiple directions. So I like to flex my hand to make it to where the calluses stand up off of the palm. And then I just apply that pressure and slowly take off little tiny pieces. Once I've repeated this process multiple times, I typically will have kind of a little divot where the calluses used to be really tall. Um, if they're still really raised, you can feel them really easily with your finger. You can go back and spend more time with this, or you can spend some time with the, the pumice stone. So the next step, or if you're a beginner and the callus shaver scares you, start with a pumice stone. Just pick one up, again, available at grocery stores in the pedicure department or manicure area, um, which for guys, that's the area where they sell nail polish. And after you take a shower, or if you just need to soak your hands, you can soak your hands in warm water for five to ten minutes. Your skin will be nice and soft, and you can use this to just kind of rub back and forth on the edges of those calluses to help wear them down and smooth them out. So that's what I would recommend. Again, afterwards, if it's, you know, you take a shower at night, just put some soft lotion of any kind. It doesn't matter what you're using right on there, just to help keep everything smooth. And if you can maintain that. I usually shave my calluses every other week or so, just kind of depending on what work I've done. You should be um, in the clear to prevent tears. Hope this was helpful. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and we will see you guys in the gym for your next rod. Bye!